right, well, here's the second prototype for the Arduino-based secret knock detector that I have set up for my door. Uh, I don't have a video for the, for the original online. It was kind of a mess. It was very large, and I had two separate boards, one for the Arduino and one for the, uh, for the H-Bridge. I've done away with that, and I've integrated it all into one board. I am using a uh, L298 for the stepper controller. Uh, the stepper motor I have over here is probably a bit large for this application. I previously used a smaller motor, but since I was only driving it with uh, 5 volts, it was not generating enough torque, and the deadbolt was a little bit sticky here and there and was causing it to stall out. So I will probably put this back to the uh, smaller motor. Now that I'm driving the motor off at 12 volts, it does generate quite a bit more torque. Um, so just for the mounting real quick here, this uh, piece of plywood has uh, three holes in it. Uh, there is one hole for the for the deadbolt sh uh, shaft itself with the knob, and one each. Well, yeah, I can deal with the light here. One each for the two screws that uh, can be seen here on either side. Uh, so this plate here is more or less just sandwiching the plywood against the door and holding it firmly in place. I've got a couple of uh, shims here. Uh, I will eventually replace this whole frame with aluminum and make it look a little bit more professional. Uh, but for right now, this will do. I have it secured with a pipe clamp. It does hold it pretty well. Uh, as far as the linkage to the deadbolt, I am using a uh, PVC pipe cap. It's got a small hole drilled in it to fit around the, uh, the shaft of the stepper motor. And it has a notch cut all the way through so that the uh, uh, the knob that I have on this door will uh, be engaged by that uh, device and it seems to work pretty well. And as far as the electronics are concerned, I have an Arduino Pro Mini and this is the one that runs on 5 volts. And uh, there is a project file online as well as uh, Instructables. I will post a link to that. Uh, I, you know, I borrowed some, from someone else's code here. I, you know, most of this is not my own design, but I have added some uh, some uh, improvements to it. Uh, namely, the fact I am using a stepper motor, so I can control the position of the lock instead of uh, dealing with timings for a uh, motor. It also gives me bi-directional control, so now I have the ability to lock the door as well as unlock it. Uh, I have also added a couple of additional features. I have added a one-time knock that will be used one time, and once it's used, it will not work anymore. Uh, by default, I have this set up to just four knocks. Uh, looks like I need to reset the device. It looks like I uh, may have already used that. All right, I'll reset it. I will go ahead and try it again. There we go. Door is now unlocked. Uh, to illustrate the uh, lock feature, I will show you uh, three knocks, which is the default. And the door is locked. If I try to use the one-time knock again, it will not work. I will have uh, two passwords on this, uh, on this uh, incarnation of the project. I have a uh, ribbon cable here, which is not currently hooked up. It will have additional uh, display LEDs, as well as a button for locking and unlocking the door from the inside, so you don't have to uh, fiddle with the uh, lock up here. Uh, there will be two programming buttons. One will program the knock uh, as per the existing code that's online. Uh, I do have, uh, it's still set to the default shave and haircut. Unlock the door. I'll lock it. But I also have a second uh, user password set up, and I currently have it set to uh, the Tetris theme. So the second programming button will program the second password. And pressing both of them simultaneously will allow you to program the one-time knock. So hopefully this will be uh, inspiring to other people that are working on similar projects. And I will post these schematics and my code online in the links.